everyone today i'm going to be doing a little look just go with us i've no idea how it's going to turn out i've had this craving to do something yellow gold brown and black and i think it's because i wanted a bit of sunshine in my life it's been dull it's been depressing i don't know where you are but i know a lot of we've got snow a lot of work because it's winter it's winter in england and it's just painful like really dark snowing Mind you, today it's all cleared up and it ha we've had sun all day long. It's been really nice to stand at the back door and let them just soak in the sun because we're not getting much vitamin D here, that's for sure. So I'm going to do a very sunny, colourful look with a touch of gold. And I really hope you enjoy this one. It's something I've been craving the last few days. I did my red Valentine's Day look. That went down a storm. Martin absolutely loved it. And he said it looked really nice and he thinks I'd probably suit gothic looks, which I know a lot of people have requested anyway. So I might do some gothic looks for you. And I know Mia would love gothic looks because she loves Amy Lee Evanescence. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Now I've been messing about because I've been looking through all my makeup today because I'm putting in things into piles. And I found my old curlers. I didn't even know I had these. Oops. So they're just babbleless and they're not very good. But they did do a little bit of a curl until it dropped out. And I've done this about half an hour ago and look, it's already flattened and crap. So I'm not going to bother anymore. Please tell us where I'm going wrong. I haven't got a clue. I'm fed up with it. So anyway, that straighteners and hair curlers, I can't have a curl. But the, the glide brush works amazing. I've got straight hair. I can't have curls. I'm very sad. Never mind. Right, so already, get this put away so you can see it. It's just... It's just not very good. So anyway, I'm going to put some, I've already put my foundation on. That was for quickness. And then I'm going to go straight in here. Actually, foundation, I've got Milani, light beige. Love this one. I need to get some more running out. And I use this as well today. Smashbox Photo Finish. Really good because my skin is a state. And there's my mirror you can see in the corner. Now, you'll have to excuse us because I'm going, not blind, but as I'm getting older can't see like how I used to and so I need the mirror really close so I just there we go so yeah it's been a painful week although I've had Martin offwards which has been absolutely brilliant but he's gone back today I'm, I'm still furloughed so I'm off and I'm thinking about making some keto lemon curd because I love lemon curd but obviously I can't have it when you're on a keto diet but I think I'm starting to venture into making a bit of sweet stuff we had strawberries last night for Valentine's Day um, and I was going to dip them in 90% lint chocolate but didn't get around to doing that so what we just did was I bought extra thick um, double cream the strawberries and I just cut the tops off stuck them in a bowl with a cream on top and then shaved a load of the 90% chocolate on top and then oh it was just really really nice and you know what's mad I've been going crazy for i would say a good month now i don't know why i seem to hit the three to four month mark on this this way of eating where you're not eating sugars or anything and just body's going mega crazy for stuff now i don't know if it's because it's winter and you would naturally um fuel yourself with a load of carbohydrates and stuff like that but today i put a turnip in the microwave my auntie told us to do it this way it was brilliant i can't believe i never heard of it before so i fancied a turnip don't laugh so i had this chicken wing off last night that martin had cooked for the, the valentine's dinner so i reheated that and then i put the turnip in the microwave um cooked it 30, 15 minutes each side took the, the top off it scooped all the innards out stuck a load of butter in and a load of salt and pepper and honestly i was just in pig's heaven i was oh that's what i needed and i haven't craved so much late since like that so i must have needed it and you thought i'm not worried about a bit of bloody turnip because dear me i was going crazy thinking i need to eat something really bad and i've been doing that for quite a while now i'm just going to get a nice clean brush i'm going to go in with this palette yeah again and reason being is there's my nice contour color and then i'm thinking about something like that with a bit of black and i've got a lush gold for you will you see it i just need a flat eyeshadow brush um i should really put them in order shouldn't i there we go 
Oh, I've got my brushes. I should really put them in order, but I never do. First of all, though, I need to do this crease colour. So I'm going in with Bare Necessity, which is the darker one there, like that. And then it's getting dark as well, so I hope that you can see it's not the best of light in here. But it's about, what time is it? It's about half four, quarter to five. And I noticed this morning when Martin got up for work, which was about quarter past six, it was much lighter outside, so I'm glad about that. Because, uh, can I be honest with you, is I don't like the dark. And I notice, like, sometimes if I wake in the middle of the night, which is very often, because I always need to go to the toilet, and I'll wake up and I deliberately don't look at the clock. It's like if I go for a drink of water downstairs in the kitchen, I blindly get in the kitchen. I do not look at the clock because if... This might sound silly, but if it's a throwback to growing up and not being able to get help or anything. I always had to go and stay in my bedroom. But when I'm in the kitchen and I see the, the time, it's usually half three, four o'clock. There's nobody awake, nobody around. And that's when I get a bit panicky. Now, that sounds stupid, I know, because it's no different to being awake like uh, later on in the morning. You're still going to have the same feelings, but I don't like it when there's no one around or up. If I need help, I've got this awful, it's, I think it's a childhood trauma thing. And I've got this awful thing and it just started coming about since I had, um, well, I know a lot of you through followers know that I had a nervous breakdown about six years ago now. And I've not been the same since. I'm not as bad, but you learn to cope in a different way. But yeah, I don't like the dark and I don't like waking at three and four in the morning just in case I need help. There's not really much around, is there? So... I deliberately don't look at the clocks, otherwise I'll just play mind games with myself. And then I get back into bed and try not to think too much about it. But, yeah, it's mad how things happen. And then you just find yourself just the way you are, really. But it happens, happens to the best of us. But, yeah, I think the weather's been really bad here. I think a lot of people will say the same. It depends, mind you, Nikki in Florida, I've seen her pictures. She's sunbathing on the beach, lucky bugger. But we're not. And it's it can drag you down when it's dark and miserable all the time. I used to think that it didn't exist, but there was a year where it was particularly bad. And I started taking a vitamin D supplement and I really did perk up. And then I came off that um, and I do use sunbeds. I've got to be honest, not for the suntan. But what I've noticed when I'm on them, I just feel amazing. So I do go on them, but obviously they're shut at the minute. So now we're going to go in with Hello Sunshine. This one here. We just need a bit of sunshine. Now this I'm going to slap right on. I really want this to stick. I hope you can see everything. It's starting to get a bit dark. Hang on. We've got a bit of light there. I don't know if that's going to help. It's kind of hindered it a bit, hasn't it? Oh, never mind. Right, off we go. Oh, lovely. I think that's what I want. Slap this on. I love this P. Louise base, by the way. I didn't know if I tell you what I was wearing. But it's P. Louise, room I want. I thought it was too light for us at first, but I'm just absolutely loving it. Oh, and I've burnt my fingers off my curlers. Now, Clara said to get you can get like a heat, ma heat glove. I need to get a heat glove because I'm absolutely terrible. Just keep setting fire to myself and stuff, you know? <laughs> I'm making little parcels for my friends. I don't have many friends, but the friends I do have are really, really special to us. So I'm making little parcels and I need it. I've just been getting all the, like, the bubble envelope, the bubble jiffy pads for them today. And just bit by bit, saving up and putting bits away to get it all done. Just to let people know that I'm thinking of them. Because it's an awful time. And you know if you can send someone something. Just just cheers them up when it's a, a nasty time. It's just. I don't know. I hope it helps people. I think I'm going to have to go in with pe Preppy Pecan. A bit of a darker brow. Because that one there. If you look. I mean you can see it. But it's not like you know. Mega. So I'm going to go in the dark brown here. Same brush. Won't matter. Don't want too much though. Because it's quite dark. And I'm just going to push that out the corner and up. Hope you can see what I'm doing. It is very dark in here now. I'm going to sit forward. Probably knock everything over. See what we can do. Hang on. Right. I've got one of them lights. Hang on, hang on a minute. Will that work? Does that work? I put my little light on. 
Ooh, it's exciting when you find stuff that you'd forgotten about. Like them curlers today, although they haven't worked fantastic for me here. Well, it's probably the way I'm doing it and the fact my hair is just crap. E, and I can't wait to get my hair done again. Why? I wish the hairdressers could open. I mean, your hair is awful. Oh, I'm really not keen on my own hair colour anymore. I love the blonde. I love how bright it makes you feel. I've debated whether to go like a, a chestnutty copper red. And then I thought, no, don't, because that's hard to get out your hair. Red tones are very hard to remove. And it took me such a long time to get me, me hair changed colour because it just makes you have like such warm tone and I love cool tone so it's not really a colour I should be going close to but there was something I was going to tell you so I can't remember what it was I just have something on my mind can you see what I'm doing with the brown I'm going to have to put a bit of black in there to really accentuate this I'll bring that right down I feel like I've got a load of liquid liners and none of them work very well I do love, actually, you know what, I'm going to use my Ela Masca one. <clears throat> That's great with an eyeliner brush. There we go. Mm, and that weight has come back off as well. I put a good four to five pounds of fluid on, just off a couple of salty meals. And time of the month. It's amazing. Fluid retention. It's awful. But it's coming off again. And I'm feeling a bit better about myself. Because it's not comfortable when you feel bloated. And like I've always lit. Whenever I've had bloat. I literally look pregnant. I remember I was on a walk one day with the dogs. This was years and years and years ago. And even though I was a bigger girl. Because you'll remember as I was quite a big girl. I still like. Had, I've always had thin legs and thin arms and because I've got polycystic ovaries I'm sure that's why me off me I've got like awful weight distribution compared to normal women where it's more like averaged out mine's all weird and in my stomach so I literally look like I'm having a baby and I've, I've been asked a few times when am I due and it's it actually takes you back you think you don't even know how to respond you're that disgusted but at the same time you know it, I did look pregnant Never mind. I'm going in with the licit now. Same brush, may as well. Let's get this on. Just a bit of that because it is really matte black. And I'm trying to race against the dark so you can see what I'm doing. I hope you can see. I'm going to pull this forward right that That's better. Hope you can see. Try and make this video not as long as well there. Eh? Because it's been quite long. Just it, just it. I don't want too much though, because then it'll change the look of it when I'm after. I put, I put a little bit there, just in the outer corner. I love just using the same brush and then just building the colours up. You can't do that really with acrylic paint. It's because it's paint, not dust. But this is easy. Now I'm going to take a clean one now. A longer one, I think, because I'm going to just gently push that like that. And then I'm going to blend this out. Yeah. There we go. Just pushing it kind of up and out. This means you've got no harsh lines. What I should have really done was went a bit further up with that P. Louise base. But it doesn't matter. Do the same on this side yeah it's starting to get really dark in here i should have come on here earlier but i've not really had the chance i've been busy sorting stuff out i wanted to get on the treadmill as well but i never i didn't get the chance i feel like it's not it's not get out of it should put a bit more down here i think i do need to do that I've got this spot on my eyelid and it makes the makeup look funny like that, you see? It's very funny. There we go. 
There we are. I need to come over a bit. I think I need to go in with a bit of brown. I'm going to go in with that light brown, the dark brown, sorry, just to get that right in. I will put photos up on Instagram so you can see like a close up of the eye and the finished look. It's where I tend to put them because it's hard to put them in the videos unless I edit. And because of the way I'm uploading on my iPhone, it's not really easy to edit. So that's how I put my photos. I want to get that chocolatey. I don't want it like don't want it black and yellow because that's not the not that effect I'm after. I go back over with that yellow again just to pop that on, just to make sure I've definitely got it in there. I want it nice and light. Here we go. Now we need to do underneath. I've got this brush here, I love it. This is the little coffee one. See, can you see? I might actually, I'm gonna put a bit of custard cream look, just with my finger, like that. Just gonna put a little bit under here. I've got unruly eyebrows as well. I probably need the other hand for this one. Should have put my ring light on, shouldn't I? Hmm. Is that light that is a bit odd? Put that that way. Doesn't help, does it? Anyway, that's what I've got so far. I'm happy with that. Now I need to go in underneath. I'm going to go with preppy pecan again. So that's the dark brown one. These brushes are ideal. I'm moving everything. That's it, that's it. I'm so close to the bench as well that I hit my arm. And then if I hit my arm, my eyeball's going to get poked right out. And you know me, it'll probably happen. Look how I've gone and done with my cheek. Now, where's my squeegee gone? Somewhere. Ah, it's right in front of us. Get out of it. Made a right mess, haven't I? See? Shocking. Just put that there. I love these stubby brushes for this. Pencil brush work as well. But there's something about these ones. They're a nice, a nice brush to have. They would, I would class these as one of my essential brushes if I had to pick a, an essential brush pack. In fact, I might even do that for you. Like a rundown of what brushes to use. Would you like that? Right. Pierre de resistance. Possibly. Now, God, it's getting dark. Shh. Shall I put my little ring light on? I'm going to have a try. If I put that on, that's it. Let's have a look. Hmm. Just the problem is... bad it's not amazing but it's not bad can you see what i've done now a little bit better i like that now guess what i've got mac gold pigment don't know if it's still available i really haven't got a clue i would assume mac pro it would be because it's a really gorgeous color i remember this off years ago that's like ancient they don't even do pots like this anymore it's really sad because i love the old pots who else is with us on that? I think I love it so much because it reminds us of the gold, the good old days. And, and everything changed now. It's not like that anymore. I need another eyeshadow brush, a flat one. Could I use the yellow one? Probably. Right. I'm going in on the cap because look, there's so much there anyway. So I've got my yellow. I'm going to just pat it on the middle, okay? And that's all I'm doing. Oh, oh, hey. Look at that. Oh. <coughs> I love gold. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm leaving yellow in the inner corner and I'm just putting the gold kind of from the start of my iris out. I've got a 
bit far there, pop that on. Oh, that's beautiful. I might need to put a bit more yellow in the inner corner just to make sure we'll have got plenty because it was a yellow look I wanted, not a gold look. But the gold, I think I'm going to put a bit of gold underneath. Just a little bit. Seems to be more on this side than that one. Let's go back in here. Same brush, doesn't matter. Yellow again, right on the inner corner. I really want that yellow to pop. I'm going to bring that actually on the eye like that and then a little bit. And then this is where we take a smaller brush. And we're going to go in with this one, White Lies. It's a slightly frosted. And I only want a tiny touch of that. Just a touch. That's actually almost mixed in with that yellow and just created a lemon. And then I think while I'm here, a little bit under the eyebrow on top of that custard cream just to really lighten that up. Once I get my brows on, that'll look lovely. That away now. Now. For an eyeliner, going in with this one here, Doll 10, I love this stuff. This one's Mocha. So it's not as dark as Espresso, but that you don't matter. And I don't want black because it's too harsh. I'm trying to keep this look about the yellow and the gold instead of it being like a black lined look. Really in loving this look, love it. right in there at the corner mm -mm. it's very nice do I want eyeliner on top no I don't do I hmm I don't know actually I've got the, I'll come on do it do it just a little bit right Lancome I don't know what this is because I can't see it it's far too small the writing but I'm just gonna hug Hug the lash line with this one. There we go. I don't want to flick this one. Now, I feel like it needs to come up a bit on here. It does in the camera, but in the mirror it doesn't, so you've got to be careful here because you might end up. putting more eyeliner on than you really need let's get the mascara on so it sorts some eyes out a little bit this one here i love it but the formula's changed and it's a bit claggy this one so i'm gonna just give them a good rock into the brush the brush i love somebody mentioned the sephora one problem is we don't have sephora in the uk ah there's my boy there's my husband home from work Hello, I'm just doing a video, Martin. So as you can see, it's clumpy. It it shouldn't be clumpy, but this one is. 
I just rock it back and forwards like that right into the brush. I did this on the vampy Valentine's Day look and it actually covered me makeup. So I've got to be careful how hard I press for this one. There we go. Now if I can just lift this bit like that. There we go, eyes are alive. Now quick, where's my brush? I've got this little brush that I love. I think I put it, yeah, I put it away. It's here. And I need to darken my eyebrows. So I'm gonna spray some all nighter from Urban Decay on the back of my hand and go in with the e.l.f. palette. I've got all the details in the sidebar to have a look. Um, oh, please, if you're a subscriber and you don't get notifications, which a lot of people don't because YouTube changed the way it all works. If you could unsubscribe to us and then resubscribe and then that gives you the option to press the bell for all notifications so you'll get notified when I new, do a new video because lots of people don't even know I'm still here, which isn't very nice, but loads of people are like, oh my God, I can't believe you're still there. I never even knew you were on YouTube anymore. So YouTube aren't promoting us and unless you press that bell for notifications, you're not going to get them. So... And it's a new thing that YouTube's done, so if you don't mind doing that for us, that would be brilliant. There we go. Makes them look quite thick, but I don't mind starting them right out. I love, oh, I love that look. Do you like? I really love it. Right, quick, I haven't got long. Let's get some bronze on, let's get some blush and get some lips on and I think you know what I'm going to go with on this look. So first of all, let's get some bronze. I need a big blush for this one. Yep, nice grey one, I love this brush. In we go, I'm going in with Bobbi Brown, golden light. It's quite a dark bronze but it's not too bad, so really bronzy look because it's summer. Well it's not, it, the look summer. I'm going to go pink on the cheeks with this look. It's only fair that I do that. There we go. I'm going to have to see if I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos on how to curl hair because I'm getting really upset. I want so badly to have curly hair and it's just not working. Oh, I like this look. So I've got my bronze on. Now it won't look a lot, but I can see it's already done something. Sticky hands now. Right, then I'm going in with a naked palette. This one is, uh, no, it's not uh, naked. It's Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basque. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I look like a fool. You'll have to help us out here. Yeah. What does that say? Can you see? have to let us know same i love this brush love 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 i've got a few more but this one's my favorite so i'm going in with the top one it's called x-rated and it's a beautiful pink look Ooh. just gonna fluff that onto my cheekbone And I'm going to go really slow and I'll tell you why. Because I fed up with not being able to catch a thumbnail. Honestly, when I try and put a thumbnail on my video, because if you two pick it, it's usually me going or I'm stabbing something in my eye. So to pick one myself, I've got to keep starting and stopping the video and pausing it. And I move so fast like this that I can't even take a still. So I'm going to be very slow here. Yeah. I'm going to pause for my thumbnail. So next time I do a video and I go all slow, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I like that. Look at that. So do some more thumbnails just in case. 
it's enough it's enough fun that's really cheered me cheeks up that for the lips something simple this is l'oreal color rich 171 pink cashmere I'm not putting any liner on i'm going to just keep it soft and this one is like a, a sheer it's sheer and more of a balm love it Look at the colour of that. I like this look. I do, I do, I do. Now, we need to make this hair look a bit better for the snapshot, don't we? Because you know you've got to try your best. You've got to look your best, haven't you? There we go. Now, if I do a thumbnail like that, that doesn't look so bad, does it? Yeah? Do you like and I need some tips and pointers on how to curl the hair properly. I am really, really impressed with them eyes. Really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. And stay tuned because it's either going to be a lucky dip or it's going to be something out of my head. Or I might even, you know what, I might do a proper gothic one. What do you fancy? Lucky dip or gothic? Let us know. Leave us a comment. And yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. Zoom, zoom.